Hi everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. Today I want to go over financial reporting. Now, a, a, a key a key part of financial reporting. That's the that's the main focus for today. Now, financial reporting in Power BI has become very effective. You can you can showcase really compelling insights uh, around profit and loss statements, balance sheets, cash flow statements. You know, I would I would certainly go far as uh, far to say as far to say that uh, doing this type of analysis in Power BI is so much better than Excel now. It wasn't always the case, but it certainly is now. Now, the key thing though, the key thing where there might be a little bit of confusion around how you do this is how you set up the data. And that is what I want to uh, focus on today. Now, what we're looking at here uh, is a completed uh, Power BI model and report that I ran through uh, as part of one of the member-only sessions uh, that I run uh, for uh, those who have upgraded to Enterprise DNA membership. Now, this is uh, has been recorded, um, so in, uh, members can watch it at any time. Uh, if you do want to uh, look into getting the resources and 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 uh, seeing the entire session, which was about 90 minutes long, so uh, from scratch set this up, um, you can at Enterprise DNA online. I'll leave some links below. But what I want to break out today, I want to break out uh, in this short format, this short tutorial, how you set up the data, because this is, a, this is totally relevant across any of these financial type reporting, right? And, it, and, it's, and it's quite, uh, it'd be, it's very different to what you think you might need to do. Um, you can't do a lot of this great analysis that is embedded into this report if you don't set this up right. You don't set up your actual tables right, your queries right, and also the model. Because if you think about what we've got in here is that it's incredibly dynamic. We can look at any of our profit and loss details over any time frame because I've set up financial years like so. I've also got this dynamic measure which allows us to compare versus budget or versus last year. Also, we have this entire model Im embedded in behind here where we can look at different entities uh, and, and drill into the uh, specific results for those particular entities. And then also we can even drill into specific elements within our P&L statements in this case. So say for instance we wanted to um, just look at a particular um, grouping of line items and see how those have performed. We can very, very easily. So all of this is, is truly possible. It's just a matter of setting things up right. Now I want to show you what the data <coughs> looks like looked like before we before we actually did all this analysis. Now, just a reminder, you can download it. You just have to upgrade to membership at Enterprise DNA Online, um, and and you can you can access this demo data set along with the model. <coughs> but this is pretty common, right, for financial reporting or financial data. It is in a format where you have your dates along the top. And then you have all of this information in this quite uh, uh, huge table, right? So if I just zoom out, you'll see that this is actually a really substantial table because you're going to think this is over many years or many financial years uh, and uh, is across every single individual line item that we have in our, um, you know, in our business, right? And so, and so you know, very quickly, this can get down to quite a large table. It goes down to 440-odd you know, rows um, and, and, and very wide because we're starting at 2014 and going all the way to 2017. But I want to show you what this looks like inside the query editor because you you would ordinarily uh, query this data. You'd bring it in <coughs> to your model, and I'll show you how I did that. So I went to, the, to edit queries, and I'll find my um, query here, and and you'll see on the right hand side you can actually step through the transformations that you make. So that's a that's that's a, another quick uh, quick tip for you that you can actually step through all these transformations that 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 I've made in this particular model. Or you can do it in your own model, but you'll see here this is the initial query. This is exactly the same table, but it's in the query editor of Power BI, and you'll see here that all the dates are along the top like this, and we've got all the detail below. Now, key key takeaway key takeaway: this is not optimized for Power BI. You cannot really do anything with data in this format, especially um, financial reporting. What you need to do is you need to think uh, about how you can make this table long and thin. And what I mean by that is that you want all of your dates. So you see this the, the, the top header row here. All of your dates need to be in one column and all of your results need to be in one column as well. And this is this is pretty standard across all data really that you, you use in Power BI, but especially financial reporting. So the key thing, the key thing, and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll go to that transformation, is you need to unpivot your data. You need to unpivot it. So what I did was 
I came in here and I selected, I selected the first uh, three columns, right? I, right? I right clicked and then you see here, unpivot other columns. So if I select that, then I get this long and thin table where I have my dates all down one column and my values all down one column as well. And you'll see that this, this table now is actually about 15,000 rows long. And then I changed time to make sure I made sure it was a day, and I changed the um, I changed the column headers as well. And so this is this is the key transformation that you'll need to do. You have to do with financial data inside of Power BI. And then we also um, have our lookup tables, right? We've got our dates table, um, which is pretty standard. We've got videos on this already, so you can certainly check those out. Um, we've also got financial categories. This is how we uh, we build a you know, hierarchy, if you like, around you know every line item, the category, the subcategory, and then I've also got a uh, a reference number here that actually makes sure that the revenues sit above expenses. So that's something you can implement as well. But what? But that's but that's about it. Look, that's that's it. It's not actually that complex. It's really getting this sorted out because I, I know, know I see this all the time. Is that you? Unless you're made aware of this, um, you know, you will generally have data that is just so unoptimized for Power BI, and that's all you've got to do. That's all you've got to do. Think long and thin. Get your dates all in one column, and get your values all in one column as well. Now, why do we do this? Well, the key thing is the model, right? So if you think about, we've got our lookup tables at the top. So that's what I always recommend. Well, we've got to somehow build a relationship between our data and our month column uh, or, or our date column doesn't even though it's you know it is as months you still want to actually join it up to the date here we want to build a relationship right and the only way we can do that is if the dates are in one column you can't build a relationship across m multiple columns you know we had like 60 columns we, we, there's no way you could build relationships across all of those you just want one simple relationship and then the same is for the financial categories we want a one-to-many relationship which goes down into the uh, individual line items in that fact table as well so that's really about it, okay? That's the key thing that I wanted to break out in this tutorial because it is so, such a common thing that I see missed and it is such a crucial thing just to get right, to get the setup right for this type of analysis and then you can utilize all of the great things like all of the time intelligence calculations, you can run budgeting analysis, you can do all of the other great analysis and great analytical work that I showcase if you get this set up right here and then you can branch uh, you know you can create really compelling visuals um, that dynamically go through time compare different metrics versus uh, measures versus other measures uh, and then we've got this one holistic model now as well that can enable us to say drill into a specific month for example multiple months fill it, uh, drill into a specific entity so on and so forth so you know i could go on forever about all the great things that that enables but uh, the key thing is getting this set up right for for this and and hopefully you um you can based on on the information that uh, that i've um, shared with you today so i know a lot of you out there are, are are doing financial reporting and you know certainly take it from me you can do incredible financial reporting in power bi it is just so much better than excel it's crazy um, so, so certainly, certainly keep that in mind, and hopefully you can, you know, you can take away a bit from you know, what we've discussed today and, and start implementing that in your own model. Now, your own models or reports. Now, if you do want to watch the entire, you know, it was a really detailed session uh, around how I built this from scratch and, and some of the other techniques that were utilized, uh, you can pop over to Enterprise DNA online, which is at portal.enterprisedna.co. And you'll see that it is within one of the modules in there. Um, to access it, all you got to do is upgrade to membership, and then you actually get that along with huge amounts of other things. Uh, uh, you know, you get access to really an entire education platform of Power BI. So something um, worth looking into. There'll be many more financial sessions, uh, member only uh, financial reporting sessions that I'm going to do for members because it's just uh, such a uh, common requirement out there and and I'm really excited about uh, you know what you can achieve with Power BI now in this space so so really look forward to uh, letting you know about those in the future okay all the best talk to you soon cheers